Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and I welcome you today. Apologies for being away for the past one month. Uh, work has been crazy and I've been trying to juggle work as well as uh, you know some of the projects that I've been working on. But I'm back and I'm hoping to be releasing content every week from now on. Now, today, I wanted to talk about some of the questions that I've been getting from some of my uh, viewers, and most of the questions have been around annotation systems, like uh, many of the machine learning algorithms, they require well annotated data, and semantic segmentation, of course, is one of the you know, primary uh, computer vision tasks. Now, previously, I've also you know, created another video, which I'm going to be linking in the, uh, you know, in the video right here. That was about you know free tools for uh, you know image annotation, but what I, I have now found is this exceptionally well organized free uh, toolbox uh, that is really useful for annotating images. So if it is medical images, if it is you know, outdoor, indoor, whatever image that you want, and if you are Python savvy, so if you have Python on your computer, and if you know how to use Python, and then this will be an extremely powerful tool that you can you know, invoke from your command line, as well as you know, you can change brightness, contrast, you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can you know, work almost any image uh, you know, using uh, this particular toolbox. So this is the toolbox that I wanted to present to you today. It's called Label Me. And again, the GitHub is very well documented. I'm going to show you how it works for uh, you know, normal images as well as for medical images. So if you're interested in specifically medical images, then please stay tuned till the end of the video. So let's get started straight to it. So this is the app that we are going to be installing today. So this is a super useful Label Me app. And again, it's uh, you know based off of the uh, MIT CACI labs, and it has uh, bounding boxes, it has polygons, and you can absolutely scale it to you know normal images versus medical images, and I'll show you examples for both. So for today, I am going to be releasing this uh, set of images that I am going to be um, you know uh, labeling on. And again, the installation and everything is super simple, so I'll I will show you the whole process of how to install. So this is my um, you know I just opened a terminal. And here I'm going to be, you know, going over the the guidelines that they have, uh, you know, given on this uh, on this GitHub. So I'm I'm going to be linking all of this in the description box below. So all uh, because my system is uh, an Ubuntu system, I will just need to, you know, create a, a partition and just activate it. So this I already have Anaconda. Now this is important. Now this uh, system can very easily get installed into Anaconda then these three would be the commands. So let's just, you know, copy these commands one by one and just paste it here. So first of all, it is ensuring that it's creating an environment with Python 3.6. Once it is done, uh, I just need to do conda activate label me. And now it's activated. And all I need to do at this point is pip, pip install label me. That's it. These are the three commands, and again, it should be able, you should be able to install it on your uh, Ubuntu or on your Windows or on your Apple uh, systems as well. And once it's done, well, you're you're just you know good to go. All right, so now we are ready to begin annotating. So let's say let's call the GUI, which is label me. And now you'll see that the GUI has now popped up. So now let's open a directory. This is the directory where I have all of the images. So I'm just pointing to it. And now I'm ready to start annotating. So all I need to do is right click on the image. And then it says create polygons, rectangles, circles, whatever you want to create, right? So let me start with creating a polygon, right? So I'm creating a rough polygon in and around the waist. Uh, Finally, you have to join the, 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 the dots to make it a whole shape. And now it's done. And then same way, now I say, let's say, create a rectangle. So uh, I'm done. And this, I'm calling it a sofa, right? So let's say that I, I've made both of them, but then this is not a good annotation, right? So now let's say I'm, I'm saying edit polygons. As soon as I come to this region, I can say, you know, I can click and drag it. Or let's say I want to make sure that this is a well-fit, uh, you know, polygon in that case. 
I can actually make sure that it's a pretty tight polygon in itself. So as soon as I'm done, this automatically updates itself. Now let's say I am going to say create a circle. So I'm, I'm going to be labeling this using a circle. Now you see the circle actually goes uh, diametrically. So this one is a, is a little harder. So I can still call it a pot. And here again, let me say edit polygons as soon as I'm here. And again, I can, you know, rotate it around and this would ensure that I'm done. Now, uh, again, if I do, let's say, create a rectangle and let's say I am trying to create a rectangle around here and this is a table, right? Uh, but I'm not very happy with uh, undo last point and I'm not very happy with the, the vase, let's say. So if I'm here, and I need to essentially change all of the points to make sure that this is exactly what I want. And then I can bring this bigger one back, right? So this way I can ensure that my annotations are complete. Now, as soon as I'm done, I just hit save. This is going to you know, create a JSON uh, corresponding to the same name as the image. And then I just hit save and then it goes to the next image, right? So then I say, let's say this is the next image. So the next image, again, here I want to create a, a whole semantic segmentation. So I don't want to do bounding boxes anymore, but I want to point to point. So in this case, again, I just say, you know, create a polygon. And now let's start going in as much detail as we possibly can, knowing that we can always come back and edit this to add more vertices to make sure that it is, you know, fit to the whole point. So this is done and let me call this a person, right? So I'm done with the person, but again, I'm not very happy with it. So I can literally say that, you know, edit polygons. And as soon as I come here, you see that this gets, you know, colored in another color. So this helps you, you know, change the vertices, if at all, add a point to the edge, right? So it just did. And this way I can add more detail to it. Now, uh, one of the cool features that I liked about, uh, so if you already have an, like this image, I was already annotating because I already had the annotations, it will automatically load it. If you have uh, an image with the same name JSON file, it will automatically load it. So I was like, you know, getting into, into the rash. So in this case, I was able to load it. But let's say that you're not interested and you say, you know, delete polygons. It will ask you, are you sure? And it, it got deleted. One thing that I really liked about this, uh, you know, front end was you can change the zoom level. So let's say that this image, you want it a, a little more zoomed or a little less zoomed, right? So you can actually change it to whatever level you are interested in. And you can also vary the brightness and the contrast. So let's say you wanted a little better definition so that, you know, you can see it well. So you can do that. So now the brightness and the contrast have been uh, have been done. And now you can either, you know, again, keep going and say create polygons. I want to do the optic disk in this case. And I'm done, right? So, and then if I want to edit it, if I do edit, edit, edit polygons, and I can, you know, add more points or even move this whole thing around. So all of this is a possibility now. So now I just hit save and I'm done, right? And the next image was a rash image. Again, I had already annotated it. So again, you can, uh, you know, zoom in, zoom out, pan, do all of that, uh, just, you know, using the front end. Now, what I wanted to also show you is, you know, this is what you can do with the front end. But once you're done with the front end, there's a lot more that you can actually do from the command line. So that's what I wanted to show you. So let's say that, you know, you're done with your, your you know, basic label me. But what, and again, all of these commands are all actually, uh, you know, already given to you. So you can actually do visualization. So let's say you want to visualize every single image separately. So this would be the command in order to do that. So what I want to say is label me and let me pick the, the, the skin image, right? Or let's take the retina image. So I have retina uh, dot JPG and minus capital O retina dot JSON. 
So as soon as I do this, you will see that only that particular image will get pulled up, right? And you can actually interact with it. It, it won't get saved till and until you hit save. So every time you actually hit save, it will change the annotation from what you had last, right? And uh, see, again, this is going to ask you, are you sure you want to save it or do you want to cancel or you say close without saving? So that is one thing. But then what I really like is uh, they can do is you can also create visualization. So indoor underscore test dot json and now you see you get all of the different regions of interest right so you had a circle you had and once a pot sofa table so you can e easily visualize what you just annotated but what i also like is the is the additional how you can even change these you can dump this into a annotation folder like when when you want something to be used by a machine learning uh, algorithm you want to dump it into a into a folder so then you actually can create a data set out of it so what you will call it is label me underscore json underscore two underscore data set and then let's give the name so um, again it's called indoor um, dot i need the json and minus o and let me call it indoor test underscore it's not going to be uh, a json file anymore but it's going to be a folder so it won't handle any more than this. And now you see the indoor test.json has been created. And now you see that this is your annotation that has been dumped. So now you can easily read this. So, you know, this is gonna be the red and then this is the green and the yellow corresponding to the different regions of interest. And that's how, if you have multi-label, uh, you know, semantic segmentation problem, you can very quickly generate data using label me. So uh, I believe it's, it's a very powerful tool. And again, it's super easy to use and just, you know, you can do everything from your uh, from your front end, like with the UI, or you can do you know most of your tasks um, just using command line, like I, I was able to show you. So the the GitHub is is very well documented. You can see how to how to you know work on uh, single images, or you can work on even video annotation examples. So it's really easy to use, and I highly recommend you use this for your machine learning and annotation tasks. Thank you.